spend my life mending broken people. I want to spend my life removing pain. Lord, let my words heal a heart. and 
Amen. Wonderful. Thank you for spending a few moments with us, worshiping our Lord and our Savior. Um, Holy Spirit is definitely welcome into this place. Uh, I'm here with my dear friend, John. John, I welcome you also. <laughs> John Lomacang is a wonderful friend and a wonderful musical friend. It's nice to have uh, friends who appreciate music, not necessarily my music, but um, appreciate just good music and appreciate the Holy Spirit in music. You know, there's an anointing that um, we we work in when we, when we sing and, and play these songs that are uh, glorify God. That's right. So it's thrilled uh, for you to be here helping me um, do this. So this, is the, this is a first for us. We had always right. had other people with us, right. but uh, the Lord has given this opportunity to just praise him. And whether there are two or three, you know, at least we at the minimum, where right. two or three are gathered, <laughs> right. uh, there he will be in the midst of us right. to bless well, and keep us. So we're and, glad that they've joined and, us. And yeah, with, the, with those who have joined us, we have a, uh, we have a majority for, for sure, because uh, two and God and all of you, we got, we got it beat. So um, I'm going to start with a little proclamation. Actually, I've already started, haven't I? But uh, this is a song that uh, has a wonderful proclamation about what we believe. We believe in God the Father. We believe in Christ the Son. We believe in the Holy Spirit. We are the church and we stand as one. In the Holy Bible, we believe in the virgin birth, and we believe in the resurrection that Christ one day will return to earth. Holy, holy. blood of Jesus. We believe in eternal life. We believe in his love that frees us to become the bride of Christ. Holy, holy, holy is our God. We sing because we believe. Holy, holy, holy is our God. Worthy, worthy, worthy is our King. Oh, all We sing because we believe, because we believe. Do you believe? I believe. <laughs> I believe. And Amen. all things are possible to those that believe. That's right. You know, not belief in belief, mm -hmm. but believe in Jesus. That's right. Praise the Lord. Exactly. Wonderful song, Tim. That's a great song. I love, I love those affirmation songs. Knowing what you believe is so important. And then what else is important but to trust. follow through and trust, trust and, and obey. obey it, right? That's right. Exactly. That's right. You know, this, this song, Trust and Obey, is a song that just has so much 
uh, foundation to it. Mm -hmm. Because when you begin with believe, then you have someone to trust and someone to obey. A lot of times we think of something to trust and something to obey. Right. But it's someone to trust and someone to obey. And when you do, you could walk with them. Right. So let's walk with them. <laughs> we invite you to sing along at home. You know, when, when we face the uncertainties of life, which I'm sure there's some of you watching and listening to the program and even walking with us through the songs and maybe even singing along with us, when we walk through the uncertainties of life, it's always good to know that uh, the Lord is not far away from us. His ear is not deaf that he cannot hear. Right. His arm is not short that he cannot save. Mm -hmm. And when we, when we walk in the footsteps that he sets, you know, I've been at places where just uh, recently, I was in Northern California. My wife and I went back to visit. And since we live here in the Midwest, where it's pretty much flat, you know, <laughs> we have mountains that go down, like caverns. We don't have mountains that go up. Right. But we were back in Northern California, up in the Hayfork area, and I forgot how high the mountains were. 
So we decided to go on a, a trusted road going into Hay Fork and a road that we had never traveled on the way out. And as I got part way on the road, I was on the I was the driver, and my wife was on the mountainside, and I said, honey, this is just too high. Let's go ahead and go back. And she said, no, do not turn around, because if you turn around, I'm on the outside, <laughs> and I do right. not want to look down. Right. It was one of those hand-gripping, palm-perspiring moments. Oh, that's good. And I said, how high is this going to be? She said, all I know is if we just keep going forward, it's got to go down somewhere. <laughs> And, uh, and we, we trusted that, that right. comet. Right. And we said, and we saw the miles going, there, seven miles, six miles, five miles, four miles to the turnoff. And finally we got to a road with lines mm -hmm. that didn't have cracks in it, that had guardrails. And we just had to, like God, knowing, not knowing where we're going, we just had to trust and obey the road ahead of us. And so that's how it is. When you trust and obey, you could know, as this next song says, all the way my Savior leads me. me. Amen. <laughs> That's wow. great. You know, I, I heard the story that uh, Fanny Crosby wrote that song, and um, 
I remember, I think the story went that uh, she had was in a need um, for some money before her, the publishers, I guess, uh, were, were paying, were giving her money. You know, she was getting money for writing songs, but she received a five dollar um, check or five dollar bill from someone uh, before the check got to her from the publishers, and she was in need for that of, of that. And so, um, r when she realized that uh, the God had provided that. I mean, that's the way she, she saw it as, as him having provided. And um, she began to realize that as she was, since she was blind, she knew of all the people that had helped her, you know, when, when she would go into town and help her across the street. And um, it reminded me of the fact that um, we have a help in God. We, we, we often look at things we will look at things and wonder why um, good things happen to bad people. We'll wonder why um, bad things happen to good people. But there's a psalm that I love uh, that says, uh, it's Psalm 124, and it says, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have quickly swallowed us up alive when the wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters would have overwhelmed us and swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. And then verse 6, Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Verse 8 says, Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. And I just love that verse um, that says, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side. Um, we often, uh, like I say, we, we, we think about... Uh, the the when good things happen and bad things happen, but we don't think about what didn't happen. That's right. That's right. And, and so it's almost like a reverse um, Thanksgiving. You know, when when I know when when I land on the on an air airstrip after being in the air for a while <laughs> and on the plane land safely, I think Lord, thank you that we didn't crash. That's right. And you know, there's so many scenarios that you can that we often regret. Maybe something. Why did this happen to me? Why did this happen? But, but think about what didn't happen to me. That's right. And sometimes we don't even think of our blessings. If we're on a flight that doesn't have any turbulence and it touches down, we almost take that whole journey for granted sometimes. And we say, well, you know, that's just how it is. Uh, this is a good plane. Then maintenance is kept up. The pilot's probably very experienced. But we don't know that it's the grace of God that's holding that big old aluminum right. cylinder up. Because exactly. it's his air. He, all he has to do is turn his air off. Right. And I, I read a story. I mean, I actually didn't read a story. We were on our way back from Australia a number of years ago. And one of the flight attendants uh, just graced us with a horror story. Mm. Uh, he, because we, here we were about five hours over the Pacific from Australia on our way back to California. And all of a sudden, all the flight attendants began to run back to the back of the plane. And one of them made the mistake of whispering louder than she should have, oh, we smell smoke. <laughs> well, you got five hours back and 12 hours ahead of you or however how long. And, you know, there's like this water below you. And that's not what you want to no, hear. No, no. And so everybody just, you know, sometimes your ears are too good and you hear what you shouldn't hear and everybody else hears at the same time. So we're looking at you know, like nobody's saying anything. We're wondering, Lord, this is five hours back, 12 hours ahead of us. What's going to happen? Oh. If there is smoke on this 747, mm -hmm. something's going to happen. And then, then all of a sudden we saw the flight attendants disperse. And whatever happened, we believe God prevented what Absolutely. could have happened, right, right. but the flight attendant proceeded to tell us horror stories. Mm -hmm. uh, a male flight attendant, he said, you know, when coming from Tokyo back to Australia, we hit a dead spot. And that's what I meant. The dead spot is where there's a hole in the sky where there is no lift. Hmm. And he said, we fell 10,000 feet until we grabbed a, a, an air, a, 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 not an air pocket, but we grabbed air again and the plane started right. to lift again. And I thought, Lord, do not allow... <laughs> Do not allow any... Fill up all the pockets, Lord. Fill up all the pockets. We just don't need a 10,000-foot drop over the Pacific, right. Pacific Ocean. But sometimes our lives are like that. There are holes coming, and we don't know. Right, yeah. And God yeah. sees it, had it not been for the Lord. Absolutely. So praise God yeah. for the Lord, who's always awake. Yes, praise God he for is. That. Yeah, and, and uh, this is a great uh, song that is kind of a spiritual that reminds me of uh, if the Lord hadn't been right. walking by me. You sing it and I'll join on with you. Not 
think about that. Where would we be? The other day, um, <laughs> my wife and I were talking about DNA. I don't know how we got into this topic of DNA. <laughs> What's that spell? Uh, oh, di <laughs> Dioxynucleid uh, something, you know, oh. DNA. We, oh. we just kind of, <laughs> right. Uh, but um, somebody was talking about, well, the belief in evolution. And I said, well, one of the reasons why evolution is so invalid is because a scientist said, a, a team of scientists agreed that everything that was needed for DNA to, to be formed all the enzymes, all the proteins, all the molecules had to be present at the same time. They couldn't evolve. And so I said, without all those things that were needed at the same time, we could never be. Mm -hmm. And the same thing is with the Lord. Right. Absolutely. Without Him, mm. we could never be. Mm -mm. I mean, what could we do? If the Lord decided, I'm going to take a vacation today, I'm going to give the devil 24 hours to do what he wants, and I'll be back. I'm just tired. It's been like 12 million years. I've been dealing with worlds before I made yours. <laughs> right. I just need a break. What would happen without him? And so there are those of you that might think sometimes, has God taken a vacation in my life? I've been praying. The ceiling seems like brass. The doors seem like they're not opening for me. I've been trying and praying and crying and wondering, Lord, where are you? But I want you to be encouraged today. There's never a tear you shed that God doesn't see. There's never a trial you face that God doesn't understand. And he promises never to leave you, never to forsake you. So if God's not answering you yet, it's not that he's left you and you are without him, it's that he's waiting for the best opportunity and he's building it and forming it. And one day you'll thank him that in those silent moments, he was still working in your behalf. So know that you're not without him. He's with you and with him, mm. everything is possible. That's good. Without Him, I 
For Jesus. Hmm. You know, in 2005, I was um, had the privilege of being, I think it was in Texas with Doug Batchelor, Pastor Doug Batchelor, and we were doing an evangelistic series, and, uh, and the thought came to me about the, the many lives that are passing into eternity every day. Mm-hmm. And then I was driving just the other day, and I was thinking, wow, you know, I lost this person, that person. I'm looking forward to the reunion. And then it all came really clear to me when we recently did a memorial service for a very dear friend of 3ABN. And I thought, I am so glad, Tim, that this life is not it. Paul says, if in this life only we had hope in Christ, we would be of all men most Most miserable. miserable. And I thought, wow. Uh, and somebody said, well, how long do you want to live? I said, well, you know, even if I lived 100 years, it's a, it's a vapor in eternity. And so I thought, as I'm sitting here breathing, my heart is ticking, life is happening the way that God wants it to happen. And even when it doesn't happen the way I want it to happen, there's still a hope, there's still a place where one day we're going to be able to enter. And then th- those loved ones that are now resting in Jesus will be reunited and one person suggested we'll be able to say to them, you know, while you slept, this is what happened. And so there may be some of you uh, that right now, you may have just lost someone just recently. You might think, what is my life going to be like without that person? How am I going to go on? How is my journey going to be any different without them? But I want to encourage you through this old song. It's a combination of two songs that I heard. And I thought, well, I heard Selah do it many years ago. And uh, as we walk through this, this journey of the reality of this world, 
There are places we've been, my wife and I have traveled all over the world, but there's no place we've been that we would rather give up in place of the kingdom. So as we, as we walk through this song together, remember, if we don't meet this side of heaven, we will meet you on that beautiful shore. Places I remember all my life, though some have changed, some forever, not for better, some are lost, and some remain. All these places have their moments. With people and friends I still can recall Some are dead and some are living But in my life I love them all But of all these friends compares with you and these memories lose their meaning when I think of love as something new though I know I'll never lose affection for people and friends I've known before and I know I'll often stop and think about them But in my life I loved you more Soon we've come To the end of life's journey Thank you, John, for that song. I love that. I remember uh, singing that when, when I was young. Um, I'm still young, but when I was younger. Um, and it's a great reminder that we have heaven to look forward to, spending eternity with our loved ones and our Savior. 
This is a song that uh, reminds me of the wonderful um, presence of God in my life and knowing that I don't need anything else besides Him. He's all I need when I just need someone to talk to. He's always there to hear my prayer each time I call him. All my needs he will supply my thirsty soul he satisfies he's the lord of lords and he's all i need he's all i need i need not turn to any other for he's a friend, a friend that's closer than a brother. And on this friend I can rely to be my strength. As time goes by, he's the Lord of all, and he's all. I need He comforts me when I'm weary eases every pain fills my deepest longing time and time again He's my soul's inspiration, my heart's consolation. He's my everything. He's all I need. And you know that chorus that goes like that? He's all I need. He's all I need. Jesus is all I need. He's all I need. He Sing Were It Not For Grace. Were it not for grace, 
Tell Jesus all of my trials. I cannot bear these burdens alone. In my distress, He
Amen. Well, friends, thank you so much for allowing us to come into your home and encourage you, whether you're single or family. It was such a joy to be able to bring these songs to you and lift your spirits in Jesus. Tim, were you blessed today? I was absolutely blessed. I was blessed by you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your voice. Thank you for your heart. Amen. Thank you for all you bring to the table. And thank you for the you. gift you share so willingly. And friends, you know, there's only one aim we had today because we know that some of you right now may be in the midst of the snowstorms and the rainstorms of life, the difficulties of life. And you're wondering who to call, who to tell, and the phone book seems to be so far away. We're going to encourage you with this closing song. There's someone who wants to listen, so simply tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus.